Hello and welcome to my tutorial on displacements. Uh, the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I see it's one of the things that people tend to get like bad when they make maps and uh, and it has an effect on performance and memory uh, and people tend to do really bad stuff when it should be a lot lot simpler uh, sometimes people see displacements like this kind of uh, weird tool to use that is not very friendly but if you know how to use it it can be very friendly very powerful and very effective um, so I'm gonna start with the basic and then I'm gonna build up from that uh, so first thing first is everything that I have in node draw it means it's not going to render uh, a face so there is, there is no texture, there is no lighting there so it saves some memory for the map uh, and one important thing is when I make a displacement so I'm gonna make one quickly it it creates a... Uh, it, it's invisible from below so displacements do not seal the level which is why I have to put that uh, no, no draw brush before. Uh, another thing is uh, displacements cannot be any entity, any kind of entity uh, or the map will not compile. It will tell you there. Uh, so I'm just gonna start simply by lifting off this, uh, this brush, creating a copy with shift drag, so I make shift and drag uh, and you can see it's uh, kind of it's overlapping there but that uh, doesn't matter and uh, the thing I'm going to do now, I'm gonna lift it a little bit more to show you this, is uh, the first step is you press shift A bring the face it, edit sheet and uh, select displacement and then you select the face you want to be a displacement uh, very very commonly I see people just uh, selecting the whole brush and then create boom and that's how they edit it and it creates all the sides and it's very very bad because instead of just having one face you have six and, and, it, and it increases a lot the, uh, the amount of uh, memory in the map uh, so yeah um, I, should, I think I should do this now uh, you can create a displacement and then you press destroy and it's going to destroy the faces you have selected so if I select this one and destroy it it's going to destroy it now if I select the whole brush again I have selected it all and I press destroy it's going to bring my back my brush uh, so that's nice um, so yeah just you can actually start with just shift A select the face uh, if you want more faces just control click control click again to deselect and then go displacement create and you're gonna have a what power you want to make it um, it goes from 2 to 4 that's about it um, so 2 is gonna be very big then I can expand it over here in attributes apply then again apply and apply yep so I think for now for this tutorial I think 3 is okay 3 is okay for uh, for floor kind of thing if you go to 4 sometimes you don't get physics and it just falls through uh, it's also takes a lot more of memory but 3 is a good uh, good selection uh, it's good for now uh, so I'm gonna start by well the simple tools painting you have a defect raise lower raise two and smooth so raise lower I'm gonna make the radius a little bit higher and then a lot of people eat this alone but uh, it's very good to get used to the three axes um, so X axis is gonna be uh, kinda like on the right on the top view this is the top view so it's gonna go on that direction so I move it and you see that that effect it does control set and go back to where it was then 
y axis is gonna go uh, on direction to the little guy there I put yep control Z and it's done and then y I mean Z axis goes to the up uh, left click goes the other way to the arrow so I'm just going to control set all the way back actually let's say I have that and uh, I want to go all the way back to floor level so you can go distance 0 and then raise 2 and it's going to raise it to this set distance as so I put a 48 raises to 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 uh, but I want to go back to floor level so I just go so I select everything and it's flat again nicely flat now say the map is very big and uh, I don't want to do this it, it takes a lot of time so I just uh, go create noise and I go the minimum 0 and the maximum 16 I use 16 for the floor because that's uh, that tends to be how much uh, it tends to be how, how low I mean how high the player can go through a step without having to jump so that's a good uh, that's a good number you can do it again if you want 16 and then minus 16 and again minus 16 you can go as random as you want so I think that is okay so now I'm going to drag this back down to level to overlap with the face I have uh, this one this is the normal brush this is the displacement so now I'm just going to paint that um, blend I'm gonna paint that for uh, just so you can notice uh, the difference uh, and you see that uh, it's kinda going lower than the actual brush you can press here and you see the displacement uh, I like to leave that off sometimes uh, so but I don't really want that uh, sometimes it's okay it doesn't really matter it you can just go through it doesn't matter uh, but I, I don't really like that I feel more comfortable knowing that it's going to be okay um, so I'm just going to raise everything like a couple of just so I know it's up and uh, actually and because it's the floor you don't really want to do a lot of uh, a lot of altitude because even if you don't see it it's uh you you can see even if you don't see it in hammer you it is pretty obvious in the game about the height um, I can go and simulate this guy and you can see already like it's pretty it's pretty well it's pretty uneven it's natural it feels natural that's good um yeah I'm there I'm done there um so now I have this uh, the houses in here and I want to fill this place uh, with a displacement um, so I can just create another displacement there or I can do a quick trick I'm gonna shift drag it there oops sorry and I'm going to put it up there and it looks very messed up uh, it's fine we're going to modify it now so I go and select power and I'm going to lower it to 2 now if you control click here you can see that it's kinda it's kinda neat like there they fit there and uh, yeah so it's pretty cool that uh, you, you will notice later why that is really good uh, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it 26 by 26. When you're working with displacement, it's really, it's. I suggest to just stick to the grid all the time. I'm going to make that a power of two, and I'm going to make it a lot obvious that it's broken and stuff. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna have another thing here. And you see, like, well, it's um. They don't meet each other, but 
but these placements have a really nice tool to kind of join them together um, so you can select and with control select what faces and then sew and it's going to sew them together now there is a there is a limit to what you can do uh, as a custom rule uh, if the face is the same power and it's on the same brush height so like here it's gonna sew if I pull this one up and modify it and then select the other face it does not work um, but now I, when I say that uh, that it has to be the same power I was kinda lying uh, it doesn't have to be the same power uh, it, this one can be power of 3 apply and this one is of power of 2 3 and 2 uh, but if I press U it still does the job really really well um, so that's really that's really good uh, so it's not really the power that has to be uh, together it's this kinda like line segments like the vertices have to meet uh, together and be at the same height like always this means that when I go to this pretty little ground I notice that they are both at the same height here you can see uh, yeah there and the vertices kinda are aligned and how do I know they're aligned? because they fit together here so it's like a 4 and this is a 16 so 4 fits in 16 it's like 1 4 it fits nicely together um, so I can just select these faces sew them together and it does not work okay sorry about that um, it actually has to be uh, half down so it has to be in the middle not one for it, it has to be in the middle for it to work uh, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, I'm going to just make this like so and I'm going to make it a power of 2 actually because I don't need it to be that, that close together I can add a, a little bit of a noise in there just positive that's not positive um, Oh, I put the negative, yeah, sorry. Um, and now I can uh, just uh, duplicate this one, this one, and uh, because it's half on this edge, so this one meets perfectly, this one is halved. They are all, if I select them all of them and sew, they all sew. Perfect, great. Now I select this one and I place it there. I'm not even gonna rotate it because I like to have the uh, the asymmetry on the ground so I just select the middle face and see again and it fits this leads to the other part of uh, of uh, displacements displacements can be uh, overlapping with uh, with normal brushes with almost no problem at all uh, because it doesn't cut the geometry it doesn't affect the visibility so much so you can just have it there and it looks pretty natural just like a bunch of dirt wood so now I want to paint the road in here so I'm gonna uh, paint alpha and I click and I notice that it kinda changes a little bit to some kind of road thing so it's kinda this takes a lot of time usually but uh, so and it's better to do it uh, natural like uh, like take your time so it looks natural and good um, there is one problem uh, it doesn't have a sew kind of thing so if I select this face and paint it you can see that it's that it doesn't make sense but you can do race two and select both faces and then do uh, and make sure that they're both uh, that they fit in, in some value like of one or this one yep 
So that's one trick. Um, now, in working with cliffs, I'm going to do this just so. So again, I just copy. I'm going to divide it in. Uh, I'm gonna divide it here. And then I'm gonna copy this one too. No, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. And then again, select the face that you want to be, to be a displacement. Create power of three, power of two. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be two. Too, you know. Too, too much. Too tight together. Uh, I'm gonna just increment that and then make like a little bit of a cliff kind of thing. And yeah, I like to work with the uh, no draw because that's just nice. Uh, so now you notice like it uh, it looks all together, but. It's actually two displacements, like if I close this and I click it's one and two. That's really cool about this thing. You can select all faces and modify them at once and they will stay together. That's really really nice. Um so now I'm just gonna move this a little bit close together and uh and I'll and I don't want it to be a gap because uh, if a player can get up there it's gonna look bad. So I'm just going to paint geometry. Raise to zero, radius to one. So I just mm, so I make sure that I'm just modifying that that point. Yep, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna look for a cliff texture. Um, I'm using the CSGO beta, so I don't. So, so there are not any really good textures for cliffs yet. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, good enough. Uh, it overlaps in the game. It's gonna look fine, but uh, it kind of makes me <laughs> annoyed to be looking at that. So I'm just going to modify that a bit. Oh, yeah, raise two. Raise lower, not raise two. Yeah. There we go. Um, now I want to fill that gap. So I'm just gonna copy, rotate it, and I have two options. I can resize it or I can just chop it. I'm gonna chop it with the carve tool, this one. Select the place where it's gonna chop, click until I see the white outline to keep that one. Yeah, there we go. And you see that it's overlapping. It it doesn't matter for the placement to be overlapping. Um, you can do one trick though, which is uh, wait. I need to pull this one there. You can do a trick. Select both placements now. Even you cannot really see them uh, because the brush slides are actually meeting together at this corner. Uh, you can sew them together. This is what it will look like. It looks really ugly. I I suggest against not doing that. Um, or you can do the subdivide, and it kind of tends to uh, tends to kind of like join them together. So you can try like various options with that. You can sew, then subdivide, just subdivide, and then sew. I think just subdividing once and just leaving it like it is. Uh, does a fine job. Now I'm just going to. Now, what I like some, uh, I like to have the, uh, I like to have on symmetry uh, because of the way it is done. Uh, I'm just going to make it symmetric. So I'm gonna press Control L, and Control L is gonna make a symmetric on the. Uh, if you're looking at the top view on the x-axis, Control I, it's on the y-axis. That's gonna make the symmetry. So I'm gonna make Control I again to bring it like it, like so. 
and it is done there. Uh, now I have to just face again. Oops. And uh, place it over there. And you see it's not fitting, so I'm just going to stretch this one a bit. So it meets in the corner. And it looks fine to me already, like that. Um, you can do this subdivide to get a more smooth uh, kind of uh, cliff. It looks kind of weird on the bottom, though. Uh, you can modify them again. It, it depends on the way you do the the cliff. Uh, this subdivide, well, yeah, it also works for uh, for the floors. So if I select all of this, with sub subdivide, it, it also creates a subdivision on the bottom. It looks funky, so I don't do that. But yeah. Mm. Okay, now another thing that's very common that I like to do is uh, I'm gonna make a frame on here. No, actually, I'm gonna make a frame on on here. So I'm just gonna copy paste this one. I'm gonna make it 64. Yeah. And let's say I want to make a corridor here. Um, Actually, let's say I have a massive cliff over here, boom, like so, and uh, I want this to kind of be with the door. So the way you can do is just uh, chop it in trees. That's one, two, three, and now this is really, really cool. We're gonna select all of them, vertices. We're gonna pull this one all the way up here, and then if I press it again, it looks horrible still. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not there yet. Um, so I'm gonna select all of the faces again, and then come back to this tool, and I'm gonna move. So it's uh, so it has a kind of a, a diagonal line over there. So I select this face and I look, oh, it's from the one in the middle, this one is from the side, this one is from the side, this one is from the one in the middle. Do that, and you say, well, it still looks pretty bad. Um, so I tell you, oh, well, fine, um, we're just going to shoot them together, uh, and we can paint it. Uh, so I'm gonna raise to zero the edges. Oops. So now I have the edges over there, um, and these edges too. I want it to be. Yeah, there we go. Um, I just said, well, it still looks really bad. <laughs> so we're gonna use this one right here. Um. So we're gonna smooth them. This is gonna take uh, all of the edges on the that are inside the little sphere, and it's gonna kind of put them to one side. Um, so we look at the arrow, and it's not pointing where we want to. So there we go, and I smooth it up. I can do it pretty big. So it's kind of. Oops. A little bit more, a little bit more. Let's lower everything. <laughs> so yeah, at this point I kinda just give up and just uh, doing it manually. So yeah, just keep uh, modifying it until you like what you see um. again it's overlapping on the edge doesn't really matter just make sure it's inside um. then I see that that's too much in the corners I'm just gonna grab the uh, x-axis and move that uh, 
Okay, this is actually a fail. I don't like it at all. It looks really messy. So I'm just gonna destroy it all. Then I'm gonna select it if I can. There we go. There we go. And just select it all. Displacement create power of two. And uh we can paint it manually or use the uh use the brush. Make sure that inside because you don't want them to see through that. I'm gonna pull that a little bit up. Can I get a Yeah, like that. That's nice. Now we can uh, we can kind of join this up a little bit all together. Oops. This one too. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right there, yeah. Set axis. I need it to climb higher. Yeah. Uh, one thing: try to kind of keep the spaces evenly. So, because otherwise, one texture, one part is gonna be too stretched, and others won't. And yeah, we have uh, like an entrance now. All you can do is just uh, chop this one like we did already. Make sure it's sealing completely. And there we go. Okay, now to the last part of the tutorial. I'm gonna make a cave. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, select. Um, the faces here. Um, I'm gonna pull it up, then pull it all the way to the roof, all the way down here. It's going to have to uh, kind of be of the same height of the walls. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then just select the faces. Displacement create power of three. It's okay for now. Um, e power of two. Uh, power of three. Uh, now I want to make a cave, so I make subdivide. Oh, and it doesn't do anything. Why? Because they are not all meeting together. Uh, so I'm just gonna select the displacement, pull it away, and this is just so I can uh, select the displacements easily on the side without them. Uh, Selecting by accident the actual brush that's sealing the level. And now, if I do subdivide, it does it all well. Uh, you can add a little bit of noise uh, minus 16, let's do 64. Not too much. <laughs> um, minus 16, minus. No, wait, 16, just that. Yeah. Uh, I copy it there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna paint it. And then it's a cave, so it's supposed to be like old dirt. So I'm just gonna displace invert alpha and it creates a bunch of dirt. Um, now, uh, let's say, well, I don't want it to be there, I want uh, a corner. So I'm going to do a really cool trick. I'm gonna pull this up all the way to 90 degrees. Uh, and then gonna create a duplicate. Rotate it. And I'm gonna press Control I. And now it fits perfectly here. 
almost perfectly you can see some uh, little bit of uh, edges so just press select all the faces and uh, subdivide and it creates a little bit more of a closed corner so you can modify your brushes or you can press U and it will look a lot more straight but uh, a little bit closer to what your edges are uh, next thing I will do I'll just uh, make sure they are not inside the actual brush that's sealing the level because that's me although it should be fine when you compile it and uh, that's it that's it for my tutorial I hope it helps you if you have any questions just let me know thank you bye